Hello everyone, it's Evan from Windows Driving School and right now I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step process on how to actually purchase your CDL permit. It's not an easy thing to do right now during these COVID times, so make sure you listen here to understand how to do it properly. There's only one way to do it. You must go to DMV and wait in line. I'm sorry to tell you this, but there's no way to actually set up an actual appointment online to get a secure spot to get your CDL permit. So I'm going to go over the steps on how to actually do this. Make sure you pay attention so you'll be able to get this done within one day. The first step, the day before, set your alarm clock to wake up anywhere between 4 and 5 in the morning. That's right, you got to wake up early. The earlier you wake up, the easier it will be to get inside the MV and guarantee that you'll get your CDO permit that same day. The second step is to go on the motor vehicle's website and see if the DMV that you're going to is even open. A lot of DMVs have been shutting down to COVID. That means if any of their employees have any symptoms, they shut down for a two week period. So just double check, be safe, look on the website, it has all the information there that you need. Also, you must go to a licensing center. So don't go to a vehicle center. A lot of people get that mixed up. On the website, it shows all the actual licensing centers that are open right now during these times. Now the next thing you have to do the day before as well is gather all your documents and the funds that you will need to purchase your actual permit. Documents are six points of ID. The one document that you will need for sure is your social security card. Without that, you will not be able to get your CDL permit. The other six points of ID can be anything else, like a license, a passport, a marriage certificate, credit card, proof of address, anything that you can find to help you get those six points of ID. And also, of course, the 125, you need to pay that before you actually get your CDL permit. Now, the next step, is the hard one. You have to wake up early in the morning to actually wait in line. So as soon as the alarm goes off, wake up and head right over to DMV. You should get there anywhere between 4.30 and 5.30 in the morning to guarantee a spot in line where you'll actually get into DMV. Because the way it works is DMV opens at 8 a.m. As soon as they open, they hand out a couple hundred cards to the people in line. If you receive a card, that's a great thing. You'll be one of the people to actually get in and actually get the work done. If you do not receive a card, you're not guaranteed entry, so might as well go the next day, wake up even earlier to guarantee your spot in line and guarantee a spot actually in DMV. Now the last part is the most simple part. Go into the actual building and ask as many questions as you need to get the CDO permit. I gave you all the steps on how to do it, but make sure you ask them questions. They're the experts. I know a lot of people give them a bad rep, but the people who work in DMV will be able to answer any questions. That is their job. They're nice once you get to know them and they'll be able to help you out. The final step is give us a call at Windsor's. Call us at 908-862-3252 so you actually be able to schedule your written test. We can schedule it for you. We know the exact process and how to do it online. So give us a call and let us do it for you. Also, we can help you study for that test either in person or online through our course, or you can study on your own. It's all up to you. Depends what kind of student you are. We will do all the training for you to help you pass your road test here at our school, in our yard, in our small class sizes. So give us a call again at 908-862-3252 so we can help you get the CDL permit and help you get the CDL license so you can start your career as a CDL driver and be the new best thing in 2021.